For over a century, flying cars have captured the human imagination, yet despite continuous innovation, they have remained out of reach for the general market. However, this long-held dream is on the verge of becoming reality as soon these dual-function vehicles, capable of operating both on the road and in the sky, are set to revolutionize the way we travel, offering a glimpse into the future of transportation. So, stay tuned as we delve into how these groundbreaking flying cars are poised to break the long-standing curse of past failures and finally take off into reality. Aeromobile 5.0 for starters, Aeromobile has been involved in developing road-capable flying cars for over 14 years, with its designs dating back more than 30 years. The Slovakia-based company Aeromobile SRO was founded in 2010 to create vehicles that can transform from street-legal cars into aircraft, though the design has been in development since 1990. The company's Aeromobile 3.0 a short takeoff and landing vehicle, had its first flight in 2013, and Aeromobile announced the production model of the Aeromobile 4.0, which would be capable of short takeoff and landing operations on 650 feet of grass strips would be on market by 2017, and the company even began accepting pre-orders. However, no deliveries were made in 2017. Instead, a year later, Aeromobile introduced the Aeromobile 5.0, a concept for an electric four-seater flying taxi with vertical takeoff and landing capabilities, blending flying and driving functionalities. The Aeromobile 5.0 features two electrically driven propellers for vertical takeoff and landing and a rear-mounted electric-powered pusher propeller for horizontal thrust. Building on the Aeromobile 3.0 and 4.0 models, the 5.0 is to be powered by a Rotax 912 four-cylinder engine with 100 horsepower and a battery system. Its wings pivot backward in driving mode, and it will have a flight range of 435 miles. The design will include advanced safety features, such as a ballistic parachute and airbags, and will accommodate a human pilot. Aeromobile anticipates the production of the Aeromobile 5.0 is expected to be available in limited quantities to affluent supercar buyers and aviation enthusiasts. The company anticipates the Aeromobile 5.0 to be available within 7 to 10 years, depending on the development of infrastructure and regulations for personal air transportation. Whether the Aeromobile 5.0 will succeed remains to be seen, and only time will tell. While waiting for the release of Aeromobile 5.0, Xpeng Motors, a Chinese company, introduced a practical and innovative approach to integrating road vehicles with flight. Their electric vertical takeoff and landing flying car, dubbed the Xpeng Aero HT, is the latest iteration in a series of concept flying cars. This version stands out with its sleek, modern supercar design, which conceals the multi-copter housing within the vehicle making it visually indistinguishable from a standard road car. The Xpeng Aero HT is designed to accommodate two passengers, the multi-copter propeller assembly, and tires for ground travel, which also serve as landing gear. To transition into flight mode, the car comes to a stop, and a rectangular housing containing the multi-copter assembly rises from the rear of the vehicle. Once fully raised, Four booms extend outward, each equipped with stacked propellers that provide vertical lift. This transformation process is fully automated and quick. Inside the cockpit, the car's steering wheel retracts into the dashboard, and a joystick is available for piloting, located on the pilot's right-hand side. The intelligent cockpit allows for piloted control, with potential options for remote or autonomous flying. The car's front windshield is like that of a typical vehicle, but the doors are transparent to give the pilot and passengers better visibility while flying. The multi-copter assembly is designed to protect the propellers when the car is in driving mode. The vehicle uses cameras instead of mirrors, and its wheels have aerodynamic covers. For enhanced safety, Xpeng Aero HT has developed an emergency multi-parachute ballistic rescue system. This system, 
successfully tested at just 50 meters in altitude in October 2023, allows ultra-low altitude rescues, a significant improvement over the industry standard of 200 plus meters. It can safely deploy parachutes at 50 meters, ensuring a touchdown speed of approximately 5 meters per second, protecting both passengers and the vehicle. Xpeng Aero HT unveiled a full-size concept model of the EV Toll flying car during the 1024 Tech Day event on October 24, 2023. The estimated price for this flying car was revealed to be 1 million yen, or approximately $137,000. The Aleph flying car is another design that closely resembles a traditional car, and at first glance, you might not realize it can fly. This car has already even received a special airworthiness certification from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration for limited flight testing. It was developed by the California-based company Aleph Aeronautics, which was founded in 2015 with a focus on creating road-drivable electric vertical takeoff and landing flying cars for advanced air mobility. The Aleph flying car can be driven on regular urban or rural roads, fitting into a standard driving lane and complying with all traffic regulations. It can also be parked in a normal parking space or garage. When ready to fly, the vehicle takes off vertically, soaring above obstacles to reach the desired destination. Its unique design features a gimbaled rotating cabin that keeps the driver and passengers stabilized during flight, offering the ability to fly in any direction while offering a 180-degree panoramic view for a safe and enjoyable flight experience. The vehicle is equipped with eight propellers and eight electric motors, and the top of the aircraft has a protective mesh to shield the propellers while also giving it the structural form of a standard car. The bottom of the car is mostly open, except for some structural elements. When in flight, the Aleph's innovative design allows the car's body to rotate vertically, transforming into a box-wing biplane. One side of the car becomes the top wing, and the other side becomes the bottom wing, while the cockpit remains stable due to the gimbal design. For added safety, the Aleph flying car is equipped with an emergency ballistic parachute that can be deployed in case of an emergency. The company is also exploring the possibility of using a hybrid electric power source with hydrogen fuel generating electricity for both the propellers and road wheels, which would extend the vehicle's flight and driving range. Aleph plans to price its flying car at $300,000 when it becomes commercially available and has already received over 2,850 pre-orders, which would give it a combined order value of more than $850 million to date. Mansory Flying Car Mansory, a firm renowned for its luxury car customizations, is making a bold foray into the future with its latest concept, the Mansory Flying Supercar. This innovative creation represents a dramatic shift in both vehicular aesthetics and functionality, pushing beyond traditional automotive boundaries. Unlike anything currently on the road or soon to be in the skies, this supercar features a wheelless design hovering above the ground even when stationary. Drawing inspiration from Mansory's history of enhancing advanced carbon fiber automobiles and hyper vehicles, such as those from Mercedes and Lamborghini, the supercar concept merges high-tech materials with cutting-edge design philosophies. The supercar is not only a visual masterpiece, but also a glimpse into the future of transportation. Its sleek silhouette is complemented by a lustrous finish, and large front windows promise panoramic views for passengers. The vehicle also features upward opening doors, reminiscent of high-end hypercars. Although specific details about the supercar's capabilities remain secret, the concept teases potential advancements in mobility, suggesting that Mansory envisions a world where luxury vehicles navigate not only streets, but also the skies. Chongqing Flying Car The Chongqing Flying Car is a two-passenger, autonomous, roadable electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle designed with a detachable cabin. The vehicle consists of three main components, the passenger cabin, the propeller assembly, and the ground vehicle chassis. The cabin can connect to a propeller assembly for flight and to a vehicle chassis for ground travel. Equipped with smart technology, 
the flying car can automatically connect or disconnect the cabin from the flight or ground assemblies. It also has autonomous driving and flying capabilities, location awareness, and a tracking system. The cabin features large front, side, and rear windows for excellent visibility and weighs 176 pounds when empty. The propeller assembly features 16 propellers stacked in pairs and is powered by 16 electric motors. The ground chassis is compact, featuring front headlights, rear tail lights, and four wheels. While the flying cruise speed is currently unknown, the vehicle can reach a maximum road speed of 49 miles per hour. The cabin can carry a maximum payload of 617 pounds, while the combined maximum takeoff weight for the propeller assembly and cabin is 1,433 pounds. Since its maiden flight, the Chongqing flying car has undergone rigorous testing including successful single-motor failure scenarios where propellers were intentionally stopped mid-flight to assess performance and safety. The team envisions its use across civilian, governmental and military sectors, including advanced air mobility, sightseeing, search and rescue, firefighting, emergency medical services and uncrewed air cargo deliveries. ASCA E5 the ASCA E5 is a four-passenger hybrid electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle developed by California-based company ASCA. Designed for both road and air travel, this autonomous, on-demand flying car combines advanced performance with innovative features. On the road, it employs all-wheel drive traction with its in-wheel motors, enhancing its aerodynamic performance by keeping the wheels outside the fuselage. This improves aerodynamics while maximizing interior space, comfortably seating four passengers. Its high driving position, similar to that of an SUV, enhances driver visibility and provides sufficient ground clearance for short takeoff and landing. The aircraft is powered by six electric propellers and six electric motors mounted on foldable tandem wings. Each rotor is powered by an independent battery system, with a range extender providing an additional power source. It boasts a redundant power distribution architecture, ensuring reliability and safety. Its large rear wing is optimized for gliding, energy efficiency and smooth landings, while the tilt rotors provide precise control during flight. The vehicle also features large windows for exceptional passenger views. The design prioritizes safety, with a built-in whole aircraft emergency ballistic parachute system in case of power loss. It has a maximum cruise speed in the air of 150 miles per hour, while its top speed on the ground is 70 miles per hour. Its flight range is approximately 250 miles, and the vehicle can either take off and land vertically or use conventional runways. In 2023, ASCA announced that the A5 is available for pre-order, with the company already receiving $50 million from over 60 pre-orders. The anticipated price for the ASCA A5 is $789,000. However, the company is working on an affordable on-demand ride-sharing service, expected to launch in 2026 in major cities, pending FAA certification. Airbus Pop up next. The Pop-Up Next is a conceptual two-passenger electrical vertical takeoff and roadable vehicle designed to offer both self-driving and self-flying capabilities by Airbus. This futuristic concept envisions a seamless transition between ground and air travel, making mobility more convenient and accessible. The vehicle consists of two primary modules, a drone with eight propellers and electric motors, and a ground vehicle module with four wheels and electric motors. Both modules are powered by battery packs. Passengers would enter a detachable capsule, which can either be used for ground transport or connected to the drone for flight. The capsule is designed to be released from the ground vehicle for airborne travel. All components are expected to be made from carbon fiber composite materials, offering a high strength to weight ratio. Pop-Up next envisions a future where advanced mobility is available to everyone, including children, seniors, and those unable to drive. Users would be able to request the vehicle through a smartphone app, allowing for on-demand ground or air travel. The passenger capsule is also designed for intermodal transport, able to connect to specialized underground rail cars for subway travel. 
The cockpit features a large 49 inches wide information display, providing passengers with flight data, city information, and entertainment options such as internet access and local news. This concept offers passengers the ability to relax, nap, socialize, or work while traveling. The anticipated maximum cruise speed in the air is 93 miles per hour, with a flight range of 31 miles. On the ground, the vehicle is projected to reach a maximum speed of 62 miles per hour, with a range of 81 miles. Embraer Plus Concept For its 50th anniversary, Embraer Design Ops unveiled a visionary vertical takeoff and landing aircraft called the Pulse Concept. This futuristic design features a removable passenger pod that can seamlessly transfer between an aircraft and a ground vehicle. The Pulse Concept will use of a smart, all-see-through passenger pod, made possible by breakthroughs in glass technology and materials like transparent aluminum. This ceramic material composed of aluminum, oxygen, and nitrogen, is four times harder than fused silica glass, providing both durability and transparency. The transparent pod will offer passengers stunning views during their journey, whether in the air or on the ground, enhancing their travel experience. Passengers can remain in the pod as it transitions between the aircraft and the ground vehicle, eliminating the need to disembark. The smart glass incorporated into the pod will also serve as an interactive interface, allowing passengers to conduct internet searches, watch movies, make phone calls, create videos, and perform various other tasks typically done on smartphones or personal computers. The target market for the Pulse concept is the business traveler and the wealthy, with a focus on those seeking a seamless, comfortable, and technologically advanced travel experience, whether for work or relaxation. 